here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, man. It's the month of September. It's, it's kind of one of the toughest months to fish, but the good thing about it is, you know, we got the lake to ourselves today. So it's kind of a, a great, I guess, added benefit to September. I, I like it because it's a month that I throw a lot of top waters. So uh, we're gonna get after it today, try to catch some fish, you know, on some different top waters. And this video is sponsored by Strapino. We'll have more about that a little later in the video. You guys stay tuned. I'm hoping we'll catch some big fish today. one we got this one all right man i've tried a couple different things so far today and none of them work so you got to when nothing else works you just pull out the old trusty square bill crankbait and you get you one all right hey guys welcome back to project e man we got an episode today we're trying to film in september when it's kind of tough so uh, we're gonna see if we can make an episode today Got a few of my favorite baits out. Uh, we got one with a square bill and uh, pretty excited to get my first bite. I'm gonna get back to fishing. Oh, we got us another one. Man, that's three bites in like five minutes. I've tried a lot of top waters, I've tried a lot of different things. You pick up a square bill, something I got a lot of confidence in, and we start getting some bites. I don't have the best conditions for it. You know, it is flat calm out here. So to, to combat that, I'm just reeling it really fast. I'm just burning it. I'm not trying to give them a, a chance to actually think about it, look at it, you know, and I've lost a couple fish doing that, and that's part of the business of doing that. That's a couple bites really, really quick, so pretty excited about that. <laughs> Oh, it's a sand bass. That'd come it. Not the right species. That's a good one. Good boy. It's a nice one anyway. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. There we go. Man. Oh, don't put a hook in my hand, buddy. Don't put a hook in my hand. I got him. Well, I still don't have him. We're gonna get him in that way. <laughs> Hooked him right on the chin and uh, just couldn't get him lit. All right. That's what a square bill will catch for you in September when things are tough. That is a fat, healthy fish. Isn't she pretty? <clears throat> All right, we got us a good one. All right, we got them figured out. Starting to get some bites. Sweet, nice, chunky bass. All right, buddy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sweet. Yeah, there she went. <laughs> all right, all right, let's catch another one. I was sitting there kind of just doubting it, you know, I'd gone probably 10 or 15 minutes without getting a bite. It's just that time of year. It's just a time of year you've got to, got to cover water. Going back through my bites too, they've all been shallow. Like that one, you know, I cranked it about three times and that fish was up in the water column. Those others, you know, yeah, that, that, that stumps was deeper, but they were up high. They weren't on the bottom. You know, that's gonna tell me to keep my rod up a little higher, you know, not to fish down deep. Don't try to get these, get my bait down deeper. So got some bites. We got something to work with. We caught us a good one. I got snagged cause I'm so excited, but uh, we're gonna keep moving on. Oh, there's no one. <laughs> I just got it caught off that. Uh, I was going up there trying to get that piece of grass. And I finally just jerked it off there and a little one got it. That was cool. That was cool. Water's gotten a little cleaner right here where I'm at. I started up the lake a lot dingier. And I, 
I like dingy water in September. And I, I mean, you can see this far here or up there, you could see that far. So maybe it's a water clarity issue. All I know is we got us a couple bites. One thing to keep in mind, and I say this a lot, but you can never out reel a bass. I'm reeling that thing fast. And especially this time of the year, experiment with your retrieves. Like just reel that bait as quick as you can reel it. Give it a little hitch or a pause right there every now and then. That's how you trigger those fish to bite. And doing that, you gotta make sure your bait's running straight. That last one's kinda messed it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna adjust it back the other way. Oh, what a difference. Oh, he come off. Golly, I was holding my rod up. I threw right through there and I'm holding my rod up to keep that bait up high, not making contact with it, and he ate it. Almost like I should put a vibrating jig on just because they want it so high in the water. That or a top water. <laughs> oh, Apple Watch saying my heart rate's up. Got all excited. I truly think, you know, one of the reasons why it gets so hard for us at certain times of the year is that we're just not fishing the depth of the fish. You know, today, these fish are like within a foot or two of the, t of the surface. And I've tried a top water, you would think that would work. And we had a few bites, but uh, they just didn't really eat it. That's just why I think it gets tough. I think we fish beneath the fish a lot, or I know I do in my career. All right, so back to our sponsor on the video, Strapino Ratchet Straps. Man, what I've noticed about this ratchet strap over, you know, what I used to have on my boat is just the components. You know, the bolt on that thing is a half inch thick, stainless steel. It is super secure to my boat. Really heavy duty strapping, rubber coated handles, a really good uh, a spring that, that just zips it right back in. I just feel like, you know, as many miles as I travel all across the country, why not upgrade my ratchet straps? I hate to even say how much these boats cost nowadays i ought to have good ratchet straps on my boat when i actually lost a boat one time off the trailer i won't get into that story it was a brand new boat if i had my ratchet straps tied on it would still be on that trailer that's a whole another story these are some of the best that i have found really really impressive uh, how well they work the handle just how tight you can get it uh, all the rubber on it stainless steel they're not going to rust the components it's going to last me a long time it's going to protect my boat keep it on the trailer keep it from going forward i really suggest you to check them out we'll have a link below if you guys want to uh, it's just a great ratchet strap for the marine industry strapino you guys check them out tagged up again i gotta show you guys how shallow that was you can see the log, I'd given up on it. I'd done turned my head. I just threw up there just because there's nothing else to throw at. I can see bottom all the way around that log. I mean, completely all the way around it. I got snagged, I popped it off and one ate it. You can't fish shallow enough in the fall. That's a prime example. I don't know if I got the right lens for you guys to see that, but that log right there is not eight inches deep. Crazy, the top of it, you know, it may be a foot. Wow. Well, we're getting a bunch of little ones. One good one, but we're getting bites in short order too. Like once, once we figured out to hold that rod up higher, it's just like night and day difference. That is crazy the difference it makes holding that rod up high. It looks like we're catching a bunch. We are. We're just not getting any more good ones. It's digging. It's digging. It's digging. Golly. That was a lot bigger crankbait. And this is why right here, if I can get this fishing in. Holy smoke. Come here, fish. Tell me, he's sawing me off. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, stripping rag, right, dude. Oh, yeah. Look there. Oh, man. I just switched over to the big 7.5. I've been getting so many small bites. Well, you can eliminate a lot of that by just going to a bigger bait. And you get that. Oh, yes. What a beauty. Oh, man. Golly, look how thick that thing is. That's a giant. I mean a giant. Look how big it is. All right, I got to get her back in the water. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, here she goes. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. Oh man, what I was saying was like, I'd been throwing, let me just show you the difference in the size. That's a Berkeley Square Bowl 5.5, five, okay? That's a 7.5. It's like just a lot bigger bait. I mean, it, I know it doesn't look bigger. It just weighs a lot more. It's just a heavy, heavy bait. Same scenario, like I hold my rod up high. I've got 20 pound test. I think that's really critical. You know, just a lot of people want to crank with 17 or, you know, 14, you know, 20 is going to keep it up higher. we got a big old bite and I hadn't been throwing that big bait very long. That's awesome. Awesome. So just to, to tell you what happened there, you know, I'm going this away and I'd thrown on the right side of this big log right here. And, and as I go by, I make another cast because it's got this big branch off the left side. It just goes to show to give these places multiple casts because that thing's not a foot and a half wide. That fish felt that bait come through that side. But then when I came on this side, it, it ate it. Like it, it was sitting underneath that lay down right there. Just make multiple, multiple casts. That, that's, that's a good thing. And man, I'm glad I got it in because I was really out of position as I'm going that way, trying to get that fish back in the boat. So pretty cool guys, pretty cool. Get in here, get in here. Sweet, sweet. That's a nice one. Oh, the bait got wrapped around it. I think it's really important, like when you're doing this and, and you've got the depth dialed in, like it's, it's deep. Doesn't matter how deep it is. Don't throw too far past your target. You know, if I throw 10 feet past it, well then that bait's gonna be five, six feet deep. If I, if I throw three feet past it, you know, then I'm just only getting to that, that foot and a half, two foot depth. So. You know, think about how far past that target or where you want the bait to be and, 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 and make your cast past it that depth. If you throw too far, it's going to be too deep. When trying to determine what, where to throw and where to start and all that, you know, I'm really hitting it all. I'm not, I haven't found a big correlation with the depth. We've caught them shallow, we've caught them deep. But obviously, guys, the obvious stuff, the bigger trees, the forks, the leaners, the laydowns, you know, the, the horizontal stuff, just and try to hit it as many different times as you can, many different angles. You know, I try to stay off of it. You know, that's a proper distance right there for that. And uh, just try to stay as far off that stuff as you can. If you get snagged, try to get it out before you get up there. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. You know, we switched over to that bigger bait, got a couple other bites, one really big one. Just a good way to catch them when it gets tough. You know, I really thought today would be a topwater day, just kind of a little bit overcast. It really never got cloudy today, so uh, a lot of fun. Big thanks to Strapino, you know, Ratchet Straps for, you know, sponsoring the video. Uh, real quick, my power stop breakdown. Got a cranking stick, 7.3 heavy. I've got the Johnny Moore Signature Series reel here. The reason I did this reel, it's got a little bit bigger uh, spool capacity. So, you know, I, I've got 20 pounds spooled up, uh, just handles that bigger line a little bit better. It's a 6, 8 to 1 gear ratio reel. I can reel it really fast. That's a Square Bull 7.5. I think that's Green Gizzard. The other one I was throwing was a 5.5, 5, and that's Chameleon. But, man, fun day. Uh, a good way to catch fish. Just cover water, reel it fast. You can never outreel a bass, guys. Be sure you hit that, that like button, that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate it a bunch. Good fishing.